Okay. All right, it's December 4th, and I'm Barbara Blake, and I'm talking to Mrs. Delilah, um, who is married to Mr. William Bryant. Right. So Delilah, Delilah Bryant, here in Harlow, you call this Harlow? Yes. Okay, on Frasertown Road, and... Miss Bryant, I wanted to ask you about how important was the the fish factories in Beaufort to the economy of this area? Very important. One a steady job for one thing. And for some it was a year round job. So that was important for people that had family. Mm-hmm. What else? Um, do you remember how far back in time um, have people from this area worked in the, the Menhaden industry? Oh, my dad used to work in it. New York, Florida. That was back in the Late 30s, I think, maybe. So he worked on the fishing boats? No, he worked at the plant. Did he? Yes. So he would travel around to different plants? Yes. How about that? What was his name? Ira Bell. Ira Bell. And so his last name was Bell? Bell. Okay. So you really, let me make sure this is picking up, you really grew up in this industry. Yes. Because most of our men, folk that's, that worked, they either go south, north, to work from, say, May to October, six months anyway. They were gone for six months, mm -hmm. most of the time. And that was one way of taking care of your family. And could you tell me where you were born? I was born right here in this neighborhood. Were you? <laughs> yes. So a question I've always had is, how is it that this neighborhood, which is, what, 15 miles from the water, from the coast, how did the people from this neighborhood get involved in the industry? Well, I mean, back in the day, from here to Beaufort was not that far for people. They had a bike. A lot of them walked. You could walk from here to Beaufort? <laughs> yes. I heard that. I didn't do it, but I heard that you could walk you walk from here, or either ride a bicycle from here to both. My gracious. That's amazing. So what are some of your early memories of of um the industry, the fishery when you were growing up? Most of that we knew that the men would be leaving in April or May. They'd be coming back in October about the time for the fair. Always had a fair in Beaufort around the 15th of October. Like a um, fall fair? Yes. And that sort of marked when the season was going to? Going to end. Oh. <laughs> okay. And did you go to the fair? Always. Uh-huh. <laughs> really? Where was it? Right out by the, what used to be the high school in Beaufort. Okay. Right out in that area. Is that where, um, near where the old Beaufort Elementary School is? Yeah, right on the corner across from Gaskell's, is Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Right down the street from me, it was the and wh fair. What was the fair like? Oh, we enjoyed the fair. I like I, I like the ride. I try all the rides. So it was a lot of fun. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my goodness. And so, um so those were the men that worked the summer fishery. What about the fall fishery? Well see, in the fall they came here and worked. Oh, people from Virginia and I don't know if we had anybody in Virginia then, but from Louisiana and New York, because the Smiths had a plant on West Beaufort Road. 
Harvest Mill. So they worked in New York during the summer, and they came here, and they worked here until fishing season was up in the fall. Okay. And so, when your father worked the factory, what was his job? I think he was a bailer. Mm -hmm. Do you remember him coming home smelling like fish? Oh. <laughs> so many times. Yeah. And I had a cousin that worked there, and he would, when they'd go in town in Beaufort, and the, some of the people would say, oh, you all stink. He said, that's money you smell. <laughs> There's many people that would like to smell that way right now. Yes. Yes, indeed. And so, did you ever go to the factories with your father when he went to New York? or? No. No. Beaufort Fisheries was the only one I'd ever seen. Okay. Did your father work at Beaufort Fisheries? I don't think so. He worked, at, he worked for Harvest Smith mm -hmm. when they were in business, but he didn't work for them. I don't remember him. Now, he might have worked at Stand Up Products, which was down the road further. That's right. He might have. I'm not sure. Did you ever meet Harvey Smith? No. And so, um, when you met your husband, was he working already for the factory? Yes, he was already there. We've been married 18th of this month, be 42 years. 42 years. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and so was he working at Beaufort Fisheries? Yes, he was. That's where he was when we met. What was his job at first? I really don't know. Ever since I've been knowing him, he was working in oil. Uh-huh. So I don't know what he started with. So really his whole life he was working at that factory? After After going to... New York with Harvey Smith, and I think when he came back here, that's where he went. Okay. And so he was an expert at processing the oil. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that involved? Did he ever tell you about it? We didn't talk about it that much. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to leave work at, at home, at work. At work. <laughs> he was working, I was working. Uh-huh. Plus, we had quite a few children, so we didn't really have time to talk about jobs. Yeah. Did he like his job? Loved it. And when did he quit? He didn't. He got burned back in 97. Oh, could you tell me what happened? He said, oh, one of the, one of the pipes burst or something, and the chemicals just, oh. just went all over him. He was burnt. Let's see what side of him. This side, lost a little bit of ear, lost this eye completely, and just burned all the way down. Oh, my goodness. All his whole back, not as bad on this side, but he was burnt on this side. So he was in Chapel Hill for a while, then back and forth to Chapel Hill, and he's still under the eye doctor. He lost an eye? Yeah. No, it's not. And the doctors thought he wouldn't survive. So being seventy some years old, they, you know, because a lot of them, while he was there, died with pneumonia because of that age. He was seventy-seven when that. No, he wasn't seventy-seven. He's eighty-four now. Okay. But he was in his 70s. He was in his 70s, Oh, my yes. goodness. Did he have good insurance, or did the company pay for his medical bills? Yes. Yeah. He had Blue Cross and Blue Shield with the company. That's good. And it took care of him real well while he was in. Yeah. But he never got well enough to go back. Yeah. Did he miss it? Oh, yes, that he did, because he's the type that just thinks he's got to work all the time. You know, nothing else but work. i got a lot of work to do, even now. But now he's, like, he can do, he can't put a pipe together now. That was his job. 
if something happened with his pipes at the, at the job, he had to fix them. He can't do it now. And I think that frustrates him real bad. Mm-hmm. So most of now, all he do is ride. <laughs> He'll come in, I think he's here, and he's gone. <laughs> he just wants to stay busy somehow. Just busy doing something. <laughs> and so when a lot, can you tell me how many members of your family work at the factory or have worked at the factory? I should put that in the past tense. Okay. We had. Four at both of fishery. We still have one that works in Virginia. Oh. Do you? Yeah. At the factory or on the boat? At the factory. Mm -hmm. They were none fishermen. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> and so are they your sons that worked at the factory? Three of them were mine, and the other two my stepsons. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so what sort of jobs did they all have at the factory? You know what? I don't even know. Yeah. Some of them may have been in a strap shed. Some of them bale fish. Mm -hmm. But Prentice worked with his dad in all room. Did he? Yes. Okay. Do you think it would be a good idea for me to interview Prentice about it then? He might know. He might be able to tell you more than his dad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, he'd probably be able to tell you more about it than his dad can now. Okay. Um, so, do you remember, how did everybody, when you were coming up, how did they get to the factory? Well, now, when... William and I got married. He was driving the company's truck. Oh, he was? Yes. The company had a truck? Had a truck that transported them back and forth. Oh, okay. Yeah. For both for fisheries? For, for both for fishery. And everybody would just load up on that truck? Load up on that truck. What did that truck look like? It was kind of big with a house on it. Don't know what kind it was. I never paid that much attention to it. And people would get in the back? Yeah. And how many would get in there? It all depends on what time of year it was. Because mm -hmm. everybody didn't work all the year. Mm -hmm. There's quite a few. And so he was the driver? Yes. And how long would they stay gone? Oh, sometimes he'd go leave here Monday morning, and I wouldn't see him no more until maybe Sunday. All depends on how the fish was running. Okay, so if it was <laughs> if it was really cranking, they would eat and sleep and yes, stay over? right. Stay right there. Well, that must have been a pretty good good money when for overtime. Yeah, all those hours, yes. So were you able to send any of your kids to college? We sent four. You sent four to college? Mm -hmm. How about that? How many kids do you have? We have 13. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Aren't you blessed? <laughs> 13? Thirteen. He had six. We were married. I had three. Then we got four. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> okay, so when you got married, you already had three. Yes. And he already had six. Six. <laughs> and then you had four more. Four. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. What was we thinking about? <laughs> So, um, your kids that went to college, what kind of jobs do they have today? One of my daughters works in real estate. She lives in Manassas, Virginia. Mm -hmm. The next daughter works 
with McDonald's. She's been with them since she was 15. She's 39. <laughs> How about that? Prentice went for a while, but then he rather work. Yeah. Percy went for three years. That's my oldest son. And he didn't go back. He was a sportsman. He played football all the time. Uh-huh. The oldest girl, she ended up going to school when she moved from here to Maryland after finishing high school. So she had a government job. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. She's retired now. Oh yeah, we had another son that worked in the Curtis. He worked in the fish industry too. Mm-hmm. Curtis and Little William. So just, all of them worked in the fish at one at one at one point. All of them worked at the fish factory at one point. Um, what is this community called? Craven Corner. Craven Corner, was there a time where most everybody worked at the fishing industry from Craven Corner? Mostly. Uh-huh. Yes, most of the men. So what does anybody do now, now that the factories are gone? Well, see, then came in Atlantic Veneer, which helped out with jobs. Mm -hmm. I worked at the shirt factory for years. Oh. In Beaufort? Mohead, uh -huh. Bluebell. I worked until Bluebell closed about 13 years. So, uh, so farming went out. Weren't too much farming because a lot of people worked on the farm. Mm -hmm. And some people worked at the crab picking houses too, didn't they? Yes. Not that many people from here. Mm -hmm. A few. One of my daughters and my granddaughter used to work in Papico County during the summer, picking crab. Then I think we had a few that went to James City and worked there. Oh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. a big place. Mm -hmm. I remember Mr. Thomas had Thomas Seafood in North River. He had a crab picking house, mm -hmm. and he used to bring, come up here and pick some people up. Okay. That was probably 25 years ago. Okay. So now that the industry's over, where do the young younger folks from this area work? Fast food, motels, things like that. Those that want to work, a lot of them don't want to work. <laughs> yeah. Have things gotten harder without the industries? Now, for me, at this age, no. Yeah. But for some of the younger people that could work, you know, could, would work, it would be good for them still. Right. So this is called Craven Corners. Yeah. Do you know the history of this community? Not really. Craven Corner is call it Craven Corner, but because it corners with Carteret. Oh, Carteret County. Yes. Oh, okay. And the uh, they they call them both Harlow, but they call across that water over there North Harlow. But they call this Craven Corner, they say, because it corners with Codrick County. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> and you say that um, farming used to be bigger out here? Oh, yes. Growing up, that's what I worked. Tobacco. Oh, where was the f tobacco farm field? What, do you know Harry Taylor? Mm -hmm. Oh, that away Down towards? No, he was down this way then. Oh, he was? On down. Yeah, he was raised down this way. Oh, okay. 
Just go on your way to Adam Street, about five miles, I guess, down the road. Uh-huh. Oh, like you leave your road and then you take a right on Adams Creek? Mm-hmm. He had a farm down that way? Yeah, his dad had one. When he was growing up, so he kept it going for a while. And I guess one of his sons may be still working in it, not with tobacco, not with cabbage, but there may be corn, soybeans, because mm-hmm. that's about all they have now. But I worked with that for a long time. Mainly picking tobacco? Tying tobacco, yes. Mm-hmm. Did you enjoy that? Yes, well, it was a job. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'd rather been in the, in the field pulling it because it was easier. Was it? Yes. Is it sticky? Oh, yes. Get real sticky. The longer it stands, the stickier it gets. Mm. Was it that the nicotine? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what it was. Did it make you want to smoke? No. Okay. Well, we used to have a plenty of farm work. Go down east. A lot of people work down east. Mm-hmm. K.W. Wright. Because mm-hmm. he had a big farm. And so now you say you've got one child left that's still working at the fish factories. Yes. And and that's at, um, are they called Omega Protein in Reedville, Virginia? Or? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's where he is. He lives up there then? He's up there about eight months out of the year. And then he comes home? <laughs> yeah, he come home for a little while and go back. Oh, how about that? He come home on holidays. Thanksgiving, he got here Thanksgiving Day because he's a plant supervisor. Ah, what's his name? Keith. Keith Bryant? Keith Bryant. Well, I bet that's a good job. Yes, but he, he's like his daddy. He just wanted to work, work, work. Mm-hmm. So he'll be here about the 18th, I think he said, for the break. Then he'd have to go back before anybody else does. So he stays here about four months. Mm -hmm. And then there's still a crew that goes up there from here. Al Dudley and his crew. Later, yeah. Later after he gets there and gets the plants straightened out. Uh You just about May when the boats starts to fishing. Mm Mm-hmm. Have you ever been up to Reedville? Yes, I go up there once in a while. The fishermen have a cookout. I think it's the third weekend in August. Oh. I've been up there once for that. Is it is that at the plant or is it somebody's no, house? It's a park. Oh, in Reedville? That's nice. Is it sponsored by the company or is it just the fishermen getting together? I really don't know. Yeah. Are the captains there, too, and everybody? Yeah, all the fishermen are there. Yeah, it's nice. And they have so much food that you don't even want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen so much food all day. All day. Uh-huh. But I really enjoyed it. Yeah. They Don't they have a union up there? They're unionized? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does your son like that? I'm sure he does. I don't remember. Did Beaufort Fisheries get a union? No. No. Okay. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add about about your life experience in the <laughs> in the fishery? Uh huh. <laughs> no, not just. The only thing it was just that we were never together much. Yeah. Because he worked year round. William did. Right. He wasn't always gone at night after the boats cut out, but he was always working. Mm-hmm. So having all those kids, that wasn't easy, was it? No. He wasn't much help around the house with the kids. 
<laughs> I think he left it to me. That if they're gonna get mad with anybody, it would be me. <laughs> but we we did pretty good. Yeah. Well, good. We did pretty good. What do you think now that the last factory is getting torn down? Let's just look like you know something else is leaving. No more of that. But it was a big help for years. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Lila. You're welcome. I'll turn this off now.